this is Stefan here from Yap Tuning in Sweden. Today we will continue with this uh, FK8 and I will show you how to upgrade uh, the intercooler and we will exchange that, that part with uh, another one. Um, you will see why we do this because uh, on a car like this that is turbocharged you need to cool the charged air and with the stock unit um, you will find its limits because the size of it and especially when you go up to uh, to higher outputs like 400 horsepower and so on then you will uh, then you'll reach the limit of the stock intercooler so today we'll change that part to uh, to another one from PRL in the US they have supplied us with a very nice unit that we will install here I will go uh, through this step by step and uh, we will start with uh, taking off the front bumper. As you can see here, we have uh, put some tape here. That's just to protect the, uh, the paint of the front bumper and the fender. Because uh, when taking this bumper off, there is uh, three little clips right here that you need to go in. Uh, I'm just showing you with this the screwdriver, but uh, please use uh, something plastic. And uh, then you will just uh, knock that one down and the front will uh, will easily come out that way. Now here's another two clips that needs to be popped down. There's one here and one here. So just uh, be careful so you don't scratch the paint. Now to be able to take the front bumper off you first need to remove uh, a few clips up here and you just easily uh, do this with uh, two screwdrivers and you just lift up uh, the little male piece in here and it will come off just like this. So you need to do that with uh, all of these clips. Then you need to remove this uh, rubber seal. It uh, sits like, uh, like this, just with the clips. And uh, when that one is removed and all the clips here are, are gone, you can just easily lift off this uh, cooling plate here, like this. And then we can continue with the front bumper removal. Okay, so the tricky part here is to uh, uh, release these ones that are holding the front bumper. You need to uh, easily go in here with the plastic uh, device and lift up these guys here. And there's a third one over here. Okay. Alright, so now we are almost ready to take off the front bumper. We have uh, taken off all the clips here, and we have uh, undone the rest here. So now, the next step is to uh, detach the front bumper from the car. And it's uh, a lot easier if you have a friend, so you can grab one side each. Okay, and uh, then you just uh, grab it, and uh, it will come off just like this. Since this is a European spec car, it has the front brace in, uh, in steel. Uh, the US cars has uh, uh, an aluminum piece here instead. But uh, you will see that the uh, PRL intercooler will still uh, fit very well, even though this is a European spec. Uh, now to change the intercooler, you need to uh, remove the little M6 screw that sits here, and then you just lift off this bracket then the intercooler is attached to the intercooler piping with uh, two M8s here. So that's a 12 millimeter socket and uh, you just uh, remove these guys. And then the intercooler will come towards you. It's just uh, uh, it sits down here with this uh, rubber mount, so you have to lift it up, and then it will come towards you. When you have uh, unbolted the uh, M8 bolts here, you need to uh, remove the little clip from underneath that holds this rubber flap here, 
Now this one is to locate the air towards the intercooler. And then you simply just lift up the intercooler and slide it out this way. Here's the uh, stock intercooler and the, uh, the downsides with this one is not only uh, the size of it, you can see the PRL intercooler is not only uh, higher, it's all also thicker and the, uh, the type of the, uh, uh, the core is different from the stock one. The other downsides with the stock one is that it has uh, plastic uh, tank ends and uh, obviously uh, these are just uh, attached here with this uh, bended metal and uh, with the high boost pressures that you will reach when you tune a car like this uh, perhaps uh, 2 bars or uh, 30 psi um, we have seen in other applications that this can become a problem so the PRL uh, intercooler it has uh, a forged aluminum uh, end tank that is welded onto the, uh, the intercooler itself so this one will be uh, capable of uh, cooling a lot of uh, air compared to this one. Um, and why do you actually need to upgrade your intercooler? That's a good question. Um, the stock one is made for the stock power. When you raise the power in a turbocharged car or supercharged car, what you do with forced induction is that they actually uh, force, you push in air, you compress the air and you get an overpressure. Um, now these cars are uh, at 1.6 bars, which is quite a lot. And that overpressure, when you are compressing the air, that creates a lot of temperature. So that's when this intercooler comes into place. Um, the intercooler will uh, cool the charging air from perhaps 200 degrees Celsius down to 30 or 40 in this side. Now when you tune your car um, with the ra uh, raised boost pressure, the temperature will of course be higher and therefore you need a bigger intercooler that is capable of cooling better. Not only that, it actually flows much better as well. Okay, so now it's time to uh install the new intercooler and uh, to do that you use the uh, supplied bolt that comes with this intercooler and we use some uh, Nordlock washers with that to make sure that they won't uh, fall off and uh, the new ones are hex key and then just the same on the bottom and tighten it up just make sure that the o-ring is attached to the uh, to the intercooler tank before you put it on there Okay, so when we, uh, when we took the front bumper off, we also, uh, uh, of course, took these um, washers for the headlights off. Now these are not on US cars, but we have them in Europe. There's also some connectors that needs to come back. So when you uh, take the front bumper off, you need to be careful to not pull it too far out before you take these connectors off and you take the uh, the uh, the washer off Okay, so what we've done today is that we have changed the uh, inner cooler on this uh, FK8 Civic Type R and we have installed a PLR uh, bolt-on intercooler. 
Now uh, the stock intercooler is quite small, especially for uh, 320 horsepower and if you track these cars then you may find some issues with uh, high temperatures. So this upgrade is a very good upgrade um, for, uh, for, uh, for uh, track users and also for uh, future upgrades if you want to tune the car in the future. So um, everything went smooth and uh, we are ready to test drive the car.